Hello, hello, friends. Dapper Drabby here, and we're coming back to the Ultra Sun playthrough here. Uh, nobody told me what my starter should be. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and start this up. We're gonna go ahead and pick um, pick up where we left off, just slightly before I ended up uh, restarting and coming up just before we uh, face this young goose. Um, but, uh, sorry if the quality of this is super bad, it might just be that way. Um, I don't have a, a play, uh, what's it called? It's called a, um, capture card. I don't have a capture card, so this is kind of the best way I can, um, do this. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of adjusting of the camera, a lot of stuff, um, but... This seems to be the most comfortable way to play right now, is to, uh... Just do it this way, I guess. So here we have the youngest attacking. Um... We have our three starters jumping out in front of us. Here we go, maybe backing up a little bit will be just a little bit better. I'm probably gonna focus on the top screen. There's not a lot going down on the bottom screen right now. Um... Which, there's not really going to be a lot going down there at all, usually. So I'm just going to keep to the top screen here, and we'll go through the game this way. Hopefully this is not too weird for you. If it is, let me know down in the comment section below, and then I'll adjust it for the next one. Um, I'm probably going to try to post this at least three times a week, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, For now, that's the best way I can do it. Yikes, the lighting looks terrible. Maybe if I shut off the lights, it'll be a little bit better. Hey there, cousin. Uh, hey, I know you. Uh, oh yeah, hang on. I know you, you're Dapper Drabby, right? You okay? I thought you get attacked like that. <coughs> Okay, no one's gonna stick this, but I'm gonna do it. I was scared spitless. Um, so I think what I'm gonna end up choosing is going to be Litten, so we can have the Meowth versus Litten, like, da-da-da. Um, however, uh, my favorite usually is the the Bowtie Wonder uh, Rowlet. Actually, you know what? Because this is Dapper Drabby channel, this is Dapper Drabby, we're gonna pick the most dapper of the three. However, um... I think ultimately, because uh, it is what it is, I am going to probably box this starter and start with Rockruff. I'm going to say Rockruff is my starter. I got the special Twilight Lycanroc, so I'm going to go ahead and use that for this playthrough as my starter. But we're going to use one of these guys to get us to that point. Um, but I guess, what should we choose? The Dapper Little Owlet Rowlet. Woohoo! We're gonna choose the the fire type, the pirate kitten Litten. Or are we gonna choose that seal pup, a pop Leo? Fork. Um. Fact of the matter is, one of these become your first partner. Oh yeah! Hey, maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on, choose. Choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. A lot, a lot of spanning. So we're gonna just choose one B mascot, which is probably going to be a uh, little Rowlet. I know we've pulled so many Litten kittens and everything on this channel, but Rowlet is the most dapper, and so we are gonna choose him and put him in the box. Now the one question I had uh, was whether or not I should do Nuzlocke rules with this. And I might, because I am playing a regular uh, playthrough for myself on um, Nowhere, exactly. But, uh, there we go. Look at the cute eyes! Uh, I'm playing a regular playthrough with myself for uh, kicks and giggles, I guess. I can't get it to stay like that, though. There's something I can stick behind it. So, I should give Rowlet a, a nickname. Now, it is a male Rowlet, um, and I always like to name my Rowlet's famous archers. So, for this one, I'm just gonna name it Oliver. 
Uh, the other names I really like for it is like Link. I like um, Legolas. And I like... Uh, crap, what was the other one? There's another one I really like for him as well. But for now, this one's going to be named Oliver. As in uh, Green Arrow Oliver. What's the other famous archer? Uh, oh, Robin Hood. Everyone names him Robin Hood though, so... I thought Legolas or Oliver, so we're gonna name him Oliver because we can. But he's just gonna be here for moral support for right now until we get that rock rough. Uh, but but why? Let me just go ahead and get the cuckoo. -cu oh yeah! Truth is, that partner Rowlet of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. So let's show it off and say the proper thank you, cousin. It may not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful about getting into battle with one. Now, I think he's going to show us how to catch, right? I'm trying to get that... that the green off of here, but it's not working. Rowlet, get in that Pokeball. I don't wanna, because I'm a Rowlet. Darkness. I guess it's, it's gonna do that sometimes. Okay, so let's go ahead. We have Rowlet. We're gonna go up to Eevee Town and go ahead and face off against our rival, Howl. Young Goose, run away. Go, Oliver. So the target here is to get uh, Oliver up to level 10. Because that's what level the Rockruff is. And we should be able to catch a few things before that, so... But for now, we're just going to kind of... Knock things down. Uh, we might not get to that rock rough until next episode. So like I said, let me know if this is an okay way to film this. I'm literally sitting in the dark. If I turn on a light, that's what happens here. Actually, didn't change anything. So maybe I should keep a light on. So we're just going to go ahead, run up here. Um, oh, they don't have my favorite thing in here yet. Just going to talk to a few people here. I think one of them gives us energy. This gives us a few tips. Throw a potion on your Pokemon when they're low on health. We knew that already. Let me try to get the focus on the lettering. <clears throat> Into another wild Pokemon. They got Baneeries here? Wild Baneeries, hey. There's something we could look into. Right now, uh, Oliver is just gonna be just knocking things out, though. Not sure I'm the biggest fan of how this is looking now. If you guys want to see the new uh, screen at the bottom, this is what the new screen at the bottom looks like. Looks pretty sweet. I must say, it looks it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead. Uh, what else is over here? Just get that potion. I guess we should head up to Iki Town. Oh, look who it be. How you doing? Oh, I don't have a voice for Howl right now. Hey, hey! Which Pokemon are you going to choose as your partner? Have you decided? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Howl. I couldn't wait to... I can't... Uh, I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. What? You picked without me? Hoo-hoo! Whoa! You rallied is so cool! 
Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Answer, yes. Yes, I have, Hal. Sorry about your luck. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, Hal. We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Dapper Drabby choose his partner with first without you. Fair enough. I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you can choose one of these two. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you can choose one of these two, Hal. What? Then my partner will be Poplio. I choose you. Alola, friend. Or in my case, Alola, friends. I decided ages ago that you're the one I wanted to have my adventure with. <laughs> We're gonna do so much fun stuff together. Just you wait and see. Let me just zoom it in slightly there. Maybe it'll pick it up a little bit better. Professor, you take care of little Litton, right? You believe I will, Hal. I don't know. Oh yeah, you better believe I will, Hal. Alright then, Litton. Everybody, time to get back into your balls for now. Wait up, me and Poppy will have a favor to ask. Be our opponents for our first ever Pokemon battle together. Uh, no. Sure. Before you two step into the ring, let's make sure this little Rowlet's up to it. So here's my Rowlet. And we're gonna battle! Alright, I'm serious, gonna enjoy this. Seriously going to enjoy this. We are gonna be facing uh, Pokemon Trainer. Look at that, guys. Form up. Form up before any physical exertion. We are challenged by Hal and his Poplio. Go, Oliver. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty easy battle. Because no matter what you pick, Hal is going to choose the one that is weak against you. And I believe all these come with a uh, stab move right away. So, Oliver is able to quickly take care of Hal here. With super effective damage, knocking out Poplio in two hits. We've got level six. We got four more levels to go before we should switch it out with the uh, Rock Ruff. Never mind, three more levels to go. Oliver is already level seven. Our first defeat. Sorry, Poplio. One hundred dollars. Whoa, that was awesome, Dapper Drabby. You and Rowlet were both so cool. You've got to be having... you got to have the kind of battles where everyone is fun. You and your partner, too, you know. Where everyone is having fun, okay. <clears throat> right on, Dapper Drabby. You and Hal both brought out the best in your partners and pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah. Eeky Town's right up those stairs. Come on, Dapper Drabby. Where are you going, Hal? You should totally check out Iki Town. I don't know how these voices have to be like super similar. So I think there's an item over here in the corner. Paralysis heal. And we'll go back this way. And we run into another Mon. What are we going to run into? A Young Goose. I hope we don't run into that when we actually start looking for stuff. Probably will though. Let's just go ahead and tackle it. Take out the Yungas. There's half of it. Let's hit him one more time. Although if we get with the Young Goose, I'm definitely going to teach him Super Fang as soon as possible. And it is gone. Oliver. Let's go. She's going to glare on me every time I do that. Let's go up the stairs and check out Iki Town here. Might be another two episodes before we get to the Rowlet. I'm probably going to keep these relatively short. Um, nothing more than 20 minutes, of course. <sighs> oh, yeah. And we're here. This right here is Iki Town.
This town is where the folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Melee Melee Island. Tapu Coco keeps us safe and happy, you see. Question mark. Looks like the Kahuna is nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. I'm gonna stop by home for a second. I gotta show off, show my mom the my poplio. Show my mom poplio. Okay, yeah. Words, words and things. Hey, I got an idea for you, Dapper Drabby. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins uh, that belong to Tapu Coco. That our island. That's our island's gar garden deity, of course. Yeah. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? If you're lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the kahuna comes back. Sure. Um, this is where we check houses. Check houses for items and such. Your rock rough is the best bodyguard. They lie at the floor outside. Uh, now rock rough is part of the family. You see a rough house in the I just can't help but smile until he destroys the TV. I can't walk straight. Let's talk to these two. I want to meet the guardian deity. Maybe I should cause some mischief for a Pokemon. That's not the way to do it. If you treat Pokemon wrong, the guardian deity will strike down with lightning. As he's the lightning guardian deity. But the children all laugh when I tell them that. I would too. What do you say, dude? Uh, welcome to Iki Town, the town watched over by Pokemon. Hey, you got a Pokemon? I want one too. Where'd you get yours? Uh, Rock Ruffs are adorable. Ruff, ruff. And these two people say, Ah, oh, lovely calm days, this one. I always think of my brother. When we were young, he always worked so hard to collect sand from the beach. Where could he be now? What must he be doing? I don't know, is his name Samuel? I don't know. Open a window. It lets night come creeping in. If you leave one open, it'll make you sleepy. I've never heard that before. Who said that if you leave, uh, leave a window open, you'll get sleepy? I'm um, sorry. Let me just... Uh, we'll go in one last house here. Check out the young couple says. Different people interact with Pokemon in their own different ways. Some may see them as allies in battle, while others just enjoy sharing their lives with them. Battle Lords are where we are. It's said that ancient people rode over on the waves and seas together with their Pokemon to settle in the Alola region. They got a cool surfboard, a trash can. Trash cans. Okay, I think the next thing is let's go up the ladder here. Talk to these two old dudes. The Kahuna gives wisdom and guidance, teaches us how to live with our Pokemon. Don't forget to save. If you want to remember everything that's that's happened, you must not forget to save. Yes, as they say on YouTube, uh, you only you can prevent lost saved data by saving as soon as you can. Kahuna Hala is the strongest Pokemon trainer in all of Melee Melee. You must be in some trouble, or there must be some trouble going down somewhere on the island that needs a kahuna's touch caught. Because he said something about how it's time for old holla, and he went off. Time for old holla. Let's check out the darkness. Ah, it's so bright. There's a lady with her meow. What is the meow saying? Going to pay are your respects to the garden deity. It's a fickle one, but I hope you need it. So he's fickle. So let's go up the ladder and see who we run into. Maybe it's the same as the first Sun and Moon. Maybe it's different. Let's see. We get up this far and we see. Oh, it's Lily. And Nebby, stay in the bag. I know, I know. I'll take you to the room, so please stay in the bag. We could get in trouble if anyone sees you. I can't get up that high. <sighs> we could get in trouble if anyone sees you. That's a Mickey Mouse. Never mind. That's too high. Um, 
20 minutes on the dot. Uh, I think... Oh, Nebby got away. Cutscene, cutscene. I should have stopped before the cutscene. But Nebby got away. Is going to be attacked by the sparrows. And we're probably going to save that for the next episode. Um, we're just going to let Nebby get attacked by sparrows this whole time. While we wait to jump in. Nebby, just blow up. They'll go away. They'll go away real fast if you just blow up. Alright, so. Speaking of saved, now this is where you can... Uh, I'm going to just go go ahead and save at the Mahalo Trail. We got our little bow tie, um, bow tie rallet here. And we're saved, and we will pick this up right where we left off on uh, the next episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. Uh, let me know if you guys have any suggestions. I do not have a capture card. Do you guys have a link I can follow to try to get one? You guys can leave that as well, and I'll look into it by maybe Christmas. But for now, this has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.